In this webcast, we're going to tell you the three ways to do live videos. Let's go. Hey everybody, this is Antoine DuPont with Catapult Marketing and this is webcast number 37. And we have Chloe DeVita in the house. Hi Chloe, how are you? I'm doing very well. You're and the I'm, only one allowed to call me that. Yeah, I am the only one allowed to call it because I say her name properly. You know, we're almost with an Italian flair there. <laughs> but for others, it's Chloe DeVita. Correct. Um, so Chloe, um, I know Chloe from public speaking. So number one, she's an amazing public speaker. And she's also a very smart digital marketing strategist. And she is uh, really smart also with uh, video marketing, which is why I wanted her uh, to have her on the show. So um, uh, Chloe, uh, for all the people that don't know you out there, for the dozens of people that don't know you, mm -hmm. um, introduce yourself and uh, tell us what you do for a living and why you get up in the morning. <laughs> Well, honestly, the main reason I get up in the morning is for my dogs. Okay. <laughs> and then after that, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then after that, um, I just love helping people. Really, it comes down to that. And I love making mm. connections. So I just launched my company, Perceptive Presence. Mm -hmm. And it's all about helping brands connect both online and offline with a purpose and with their audience. More person to person than brand to person. And I believe mm. one of the best ways to do that is through video, live video specifically. So that is something that I help brands and entrepreneurs do, connect better and understand the ways you can use live video. Yeah, and, and I have seen you in action with people. You're an amazing teacher uh, as well. I don't think it's a surprise that um, Heroic Public Speaking picked you to be one of their teachers uh, and you, you, you probably will be too humble to say, uh, to say it, but she was actually selected of being a group of people that will work with Michael and Amy Port for uh, TEDx in Cambridge, which is one of the largest uh, TEDx in the world. And she will be one of the faculty helping people uh, preparing their speeches for the big moment. So um, yes. that's, who, uh, that's who Chloe is. Um, so... Today, we want to talk about video marketing, right? So we mm -hmm. want to talk about the three ways to think about doing live videos. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people ask me about live video all the time. Yeah. When do I do it? Why do I do it? Does, it? does it fit for me? I see a lot of people doing it wrong. I see few people doing it right. Um, so it's great to have you in the house because I think you're going to bring us clarity with the uh, live videos. And... Um, preparing for the show, we talked about three things that we wanted mm -hmm. to talk to people for you to think with live videos. How do I, you know, how do I do it right, basically? Mm -hmm. So the first one was uh, on the fly. So mm -hmm. what do you mean by on the fly? Well, when you think about on the fly, those are the people who are using live video and they're just somewhere and they're like, oh goodness, I need to share what's happening now. Um, mm -hmm. Usually you're at an event or you're witnessing something or, I mean, it could be you're on a walk and you just have this like amazing thought. And in that moment, you want to make sure that you can share it with your people. So you're mm -hmm. on the fly going, okay, uh, let me just do a live video. And you're walking like this, right? You're looking at your phone and you're talking and it's, it's not about being steady and it's not about worrying about the background or even really the lighting. Although I always recommend face the light. All right, face the light. Face the light. However, in, when you're just you know, on the fly and you're walking around, that's really just about a uh, really authentic, true connection. Literally this like coffee chat kind of conversation with your audience because you got inspired and you want to make sure you have, you get that inspiration out to them. So mm, yeah, think and about I've seen on the fly, it's not, don't think about production. Yeah, who do you know that does that well? I mean, the, the one of the names that comes to me is Neen James. I've seen her for a few of her, uh, so you can look her up on Facebook, Neen yeah. James. Mm -hmm. um, she's an, an extraordinary public speaker, mm -hmm. uh, but she does Facebook Live very well because it's off the cuff. Like, you know, one recently is was her 
walking into a hotel room and the hotel had put a basket of goodies and a little bottle of champagne and she was super delighted but it was yes. her sharing that experience with us and that was uh, that was good but you know who besides Neen James do you know that's doing it well another person that does it really well is Brian Fanzo he is notorious for just being somewhere and and that's the just like you said that's sort of the point with it is you're sharing an experience that you come upon it's not a planned experience you don't know what's going to happen but it happens mm -hmm. and you think this is something i want to share and whether that content is about sharing why that experience is important or just sharing the experience so that you can connect with your audience and they can witness your reaction and witness the importance of it for you is the uh, is the point of on the fly and brian fanzo does it all the time yeah i i have to agree uh, brian was on uh, on my uh, webcast a few episodes back uh mm -hmm. and i would say he's a ninja so look him up brian fanzo f a n z o yeah. on facebook Mm -hmm. uh, you can follow him and whatnot, look at his live videos, and it's just like, yeah, it's the, how to do it right. So Neen James would be a great example. Brian Fenzo mm -hmm. would be another example. Would you recommend people to be uh, mic'd up? I mean, you talked about the light. Just make sure that the light is in front of you, not behind right. you. Uh, do you recommend people to always have a, a microphone in their back pocket? Uh, what's, your, what's your thoughts on that? I would say audio is important, and if you happen to have a mic and you, it's on you, plug it in and use it. But I would also say don't let it prevent you from sharing. Mm -hmm. Because the whole purpose of an on-the-fly video is to share in the moment. And if the audio isn't perfect, it's less significant in that kind of video than it would be in the others that we're going to talk about. Mm -hmm. um, which isn't to say you shouldn't try to have the best lighting and the best audio. It's just don't let those things prevent you from sharing something that just in that moment inspired you, mm -hmm. prevent you from sharing your experience. Mm -hmm. On the fly is not about perfection. Right. Well, I, I yes, I'm, I, I'm going to say yes and. <laughs> uh, I would say, listen, I, I have in my backpack that I carry with me everywhere with all my, all my stuff and whatnot. I've got my laptop in there. I have two little mics in a little pouch uh, that I bought for uh, $10 on, mm -hmm. on Amazon. And I always have them with me and they're so small. I mean, they're the size of a, of a credit card, that little pouch, it's very, very tiny. Um, and, and I would say, listen, in 2018, you need to have this in your pocket. Like if you have a phone, mm -hmm. you know, and you have your earbuds, then you need to have a microphone there because I think it makes a difference. I mean, for me, you know, I mean, I, I, you know, I don't remember if Neen James had a microphone when she did hers. I know that mm -hmm. Brian always does. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, she was inside of a hotel room, so there was not a lot of sound outside of right. her. So I think, um, I think it worked out fine. But I wouldn't be surprised if she used the microphone, mic herself up really quick. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just literally takes two, uh, you know, two seconds. And I think it would improve the quality of the sound and mm -hmm. have a better connection. You know, mm -hmm. that, that would be my, my recommendation because there's no excuse not to have a mic in 2000. I'm going to yes and you. Oh, um, go ahead. Yes. Only because I've been in a situation where we had a mic and we did an on the fly video and there was a couple of us. And because we were trying to have a conversation as a group with it, not everyone's voice was getting picked up well enough as we moved the mic around. It was very interesting. I don't know if it was the mic, so I can't speak to should we have a better mic, but because of the situation and the group of us that were trying to connect and uh -huh. it was about us having a conversation together in front, um, it actually, the audio ended up being really hard to hear us with the mic because somebody would be talking at it, somebody else would say something over here and right. the mic would pick it up. Um, right. it, it was too so know where you are i would say and um i don't know antoine if you have a specific mic recommendation but that might be helpful well i have this little thing i, I picked it out of my bag it's called the y connector uh, -huh. uh and that little y connector is actually so i didn't know how many people you had but with the, what the y connector uh does and you just go to amazon.com and just look for uh y connector uh microphone lavalier and mm -hmm. uh, you have that. So if you're actually on Facebook or YouTube, you can actually see the, uh, the, the piece of equipment here. Uh, it basically plugs in one into your phone and it gives you two outlets. And then now you can have two microphone. 
Uh, and that, th that thing was a whopping $11. Um, and, uh, nice. you know, and then, so I have with me, I said, I have mm -hmm. one microphone. That's not true. I have two microphones and the Y connector. So if in the event that I am actually need to do an interview on the fly, uh, mm -hmm. then we can have two people being mic'd up or if there's four of us, then there's only two people sharing the microphone and that, right. that would help mm -hmm. uh, that. So that would be, um, that's Love one it. of the tools that you have. And I don't know if there is a W connector. And I think that, you know, because this is probably a y, it has two, but there's <laughs> right. probably a W connector where you have three microphones and yeah. that would be my, my recommendation. Now, yes. I, I don't think that that uh, suits the on the fly thing, because if you're on the fly, well, you're on the fly. Mm -hmm. But bear in mind that for me, connecting the Y connector and the two microphone would literally take me a minute. Yeah. It just, it's just, it's super quick. So um, we've yes and each other a couple of times, and I think yeah. we're in agreement. On the fly is important, being authentic. Yes. Don't, don't be afraid uh, to, uh, to have it perfect. It's not about perfect. It's about authenticity. This was a great point. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to know from you guys watching this video, a couple of things. Um, you know, on the fly moment that really worked out great for you. Um, and also your feedback on audio. Is it important to you? Mm -hmm. uh, do you use a microphone? Is yeah. it a turn off for you when someone doesn't use a microphone or you don't care? I'd love to hear your feedback because I think it's very important and we have a little bit of a, a debate here between uh, Chloe and I. I think I think it's more important. I think Chloe is more on the size that I don't think it's as important. So I'd love to hear your your feedback in, in the comments. Uh, yeah. And if you agree with me, uh, you'll get a free <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and just for clarity, I think audio is important, but I don't think it should prevent you from sharing. Too many people go, yeah. oh, well, I'm not prepared. I'm not ready. I don't do this. I, I'm I, not going to do it. Yeah, and I don't I, want it to be a barrier. Yeah. And on that note, I'd agree with Clo. So uh, th this point goes to Clo. Clo wins. <laughs> Um, so your point number two is in the moment. So how do you differentiate on the fly and in the moment? So what is in the moment? So in the moment is more for people who are sitting at their desk, you know, they're maybe inspired similarly, similarly as they would be on the fly. However, it's a different experience, you know, mm -hmm. on the fly, you're having an experience that you want to share in the moment, you're usually inspired by a piece of content and you want to have a conversation with your audience about it in a way that's a little bit more, um, there's a little more meat to the content. So for instance, last week, Facebook updated their branded content policy. And yeah. I worked with a group of influencers. I ran an influencer network and I knew this would be a big deal for them. Mm -hmm. And so I pulled it and I shared the link in a group. And then right after that, I did a live, but I didn't take a lot of time to plan it. I just saw the article and I'm like, oh, this is going to be important. I'm going to share it here and I'm going to get on live and just talk about it. Right. So it was very in the moment, but I was in my office. I made sure the lighting was right. You know, I had good audio. There were, it was more, um, more planned in the sense that I had more control over the environment, mm -hmm. but it wasn't more planned in that I didn't get up that morning and know I was going to do that. Right. I didn't have a content plan around how I was going to share it. It just mm. came out. I thought it was important for my audience and I wanted to talk about it as soon as I could. Right. So that moment. Right. And so, so it's really being connected to what's going on right now. And mm -hmm. uh, live is a great option. Yeah. Like something happened with Facebook this morning or something happened um, in the news that mm -hmm. e either at a regional, um, at a state or national level, that you think is important to what you are doing and what you're about right. and to your audience and then you're sharing this so yes. you can set yourself up you can say mm -hmm. okay let me put my microphone let me put a mm -hmm. light let me mic myself up and let's let's engage my audience so it's like using right. the news and that's great and i think it it, it also works and and uh, I actually, I'm going to kind of like go on the, on, on the different thing where people are asking me about scheduling mm -hmm. tool like Hootsuite and, uh, mm -hmm. and, and all those tools. Yeah. And that one of the pushback that I have is that, and I said, you know, if, if something happened, if there is a terrorist attack, all of mm -hmm. a sudden that day, like, you know, something happens, like a bomb blow off or there is a thing. And then you have an hour later, your post coming out scheduled the week before saying, 
you look at me, you're going to look like a complete idiot. So this is one mm -hmm. of the pushback that I have again, scheduling your post. And then I think, you know, having, you know, being more organic and more in the moment is really what social media is about for me, at least, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, I think there is a place for scheduling, but I think like, you know, really looking at in the moment, what, what is going on today that makes a difference? You know, you don't have to manufacture it. You know, if there's nothing, there's nothing. Right. Um, but I, 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 this is a great, great tip. So on the, on the fly, in the moment, and I'd like to hear from you guys out there, um, your in the moment live videos, what have you done? What has worked or maybe what didn't work, but you know, mostly what worked or if you have any questions with, uh, for Chloe, um, yeah. about that. Um, so point number one was in on, on the fly. Point number two was in the moment. And, and real uh, quick, before yes. we go to Point three, there's a couple yeah. people I'd recommend to check out who do really good in the moment Great. stuff. Great, yes. Um, Molly Mahoney is one of them. Who? She's Molly Mahoney. Molly Mahoney. She'll actually be, her and I are gonna be track leaders at Social Media Marketing World. And she spoke at my conference last year. So I've met her that way. Great at live stream. And she does that a lot. She'll just get on in the moment and start talking. Um, so mm -hmm. she's a great person to watch. Uh, Mari Smith actually does it very specific to news because she's so on top of Facebook and everything on the Facebook algorithm. So that's another great person um, to watch. Mar and Mar Mary Smith, right? Mary Smith, yeah. Okay. And Luria, whose last name I'm not going to try to pronounce, but she's from Live Streaming Pros. She does it a lot, and she is a live streaming pro. So <laughs> she's a great person to, to follow and check out. Okay, perfect. So now you have some examples of people you can go and take a look at what they do in yeah. the moment and how you could adapt that. I mean, obviously, if you're actually if you're a chiropractor or lawyer or something, you know, things happen that actually are an impact and you could mm -hmm. leverage that, um, you know, yeah. that that piece of news that actually it's uh, it's it, it would be important. I mean, I can think of lawyers. I mean, they, these guys could be talking just about every day could have in the moment something's happening. Mm -hmm. um, all right, cool. So that was um, on the fly in the moment. And by the way, if you have in the comments, if you have someone that actually is doing great in the moment, please share it. We'd love to yeah. uh, to know and, and check out that person. Mm -hmm. All right. Number three is prepped and ready. So what do you mean by that? Prepped and ready. Prepped and ready is more the show format. Um, and it doesn't necessarily mean you have a planned, you know, once a week or a certain time kind of show, but you actually spend time planning your content. You've scripted an intro, you know, whether it's an interview or just you, or it's talk show like, you know exactly where you're going with your content. Mm -hmm. And you understand that you've got a certain amount of time you're trying to fill and you have a close and a call to action. And it's just more planned. So you take the time to prepare. You're mm -hmm. ready when you go and then you promote it afterwards so that you can continue to try to get eyeballs on that. So prepped and ready is more about having better production. Your, your, your audio on prepped and ready should be really good, right? You, right. that's a high consideration because this is something that's like a, it's a show. Think of it as somebody watching, you know, if you're doing it on Facebook, somebody just turned on their smart TV and is on the Facebook app and they're watching you on their TV. It needs to feel like a TV show. Mm -hmm. So prepped and ready, you're looking at your background, you're looking at the whole production quality, and then your content is really kind of like us. You know, this was a prepped and ready kind of thing. We're, right. we're not live, we're recording, but it's prepped and ready. We took the time to talk through what our points were gonna be. We went right. through what the show was gonna be like. You knew what time we were getting on. It's, this is prepped and ready. And right. a lot of people are going this route in terms of having shows now that are live in the prepped and ready format. Hmm. Yeah. So we'll, we'll talk at 10 AM. Like if I had done this live, instead of being recorded, mm -hmm. we would have said, uh, okay, so we'll go live mm -hmm. on, uh, on Thursday at 10 AM Eastern. And, mm -hmm. uh, and then we'll, 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 you know, we'll discuss it. So we we'll probably will, you know, connect at nine thirty, so we can talk it through and then review right. a couple of things. And at 10 AM, we just say, okay, boom, here we are. We are live. Yep. Um, and, but we did talk a little bit be, before that's great. Um, mm -hmm. that's a great, uh, so b besides, 
besides you, because I know you have a show that does yes. it well, so look up Clo DeVito, and I'm going to put a link. So it's Clo C H L O E, and yeah. DeVita is D I V V I T A. Correct. Uh, you can look her up on Facebook, and you can see her prep and ready show. Besides you, who does that well? Well, real quick, I actually broadcast it on my Perceptive Presence page. So uh -huh. you'll look up Perceptive Presence. Okay. I share it personally too, but um, another, so Ashley Ryan. Okay, well, that's actually important because, you know, uh, your, your, your Facebook profile, Claude Vita, is probably personal. My personal uh, thing. One, yeah. So your, your professional page where you could actually see this content right. is Perceptive, Perceptive Presence on right. Facebook. Look this up. And then mm -hmm. you can actually see that that contact because yep. I can assume you you might not want to uh, connect with everybody on Facebook. <laughs> I mean, I have two profiles. Okay. I have an Antoine Dupont personal where you know it's for friends yeah. and and family, and I have yeah. an Antoine Dupont professional page where it's more like where I post all right. this stuff. Mm -hmm. So okay, good. Thanks for the uh, clarification. So who does that uh, prepped and ready? Who do you know? So uh, one person I know that does it is Ashley Ryan from Her Smart Marketing. Um, and she does a show called Unstoppable. It happens to also be on Fridays. I think it's like a half an hour before mine. Um, and How rude. I know, right? She's, she's your, great, you know, you know what? She's your warming act. <laughs> <laughs> she's great. I actually had her on my show. We talked about Facebook bots or chat bots. Mm. Um, and so she's one that does it great. She does it sometimes just herself. She has a partner that she does it with. Um, she's a good one to watch because she while she does it at the same time and it's always prepped and ready, where she is might change and who she engages with changes. She's even done them with her son who's 14, which is fascinating. Um, he's actually into it. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. So I, she, I, 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 need to, I need to ask my 14 year old, see if he'd be into it. Uh, I'm gonna I'm talk to him, just see, you know, let's just go. To see. Yeah. yeah let's, let's do something yeah. here. Let's yeah. talk about internet marketing. Mm -hmm. um, so Ashley Ryan. Yep. And actually, I mentioned her for in the moment, but Luria from Live Streaming Pros, because she's a live streaming pro, she actually uses all three of these very well. Um, so she has a show, and it's, it's on a lot. It's like Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and I forget the exact time, but on her Live Streaming Pros account, uh -huh. she does a show fair, really regularly. All right, prepped and ready. Mm -hmm. All right, so you can go prepped to Live... Yeah, you go to Facebook and look for live streaming pros, and then you're going to see how a, um, a show prepped and ready looks like. Uh, and again, you know, for you guys out there uh, in the comments, um, you know, if you know a prepped and ready live show that is really good, please share it with us because we'd love to know about that and go in and mm -hmm. check it out. You know, listen, most of us are making a lot of this stuff as we go along. Uh, so, you know, we're learning from one another, you know, I, I watch close uh, show and I'm like, oh, she does that well, you know, that's a good thing. I could do that. And you could be uh, doing the exact same thing. Now, obviously don't, you know, reproduce, you know, don't call your show the perceptive presence because, you know, <laughs> Chloe is going to be upset about it, but you know, the format of what she does, um, mm -hmm. you know, that you can, all that, uh, can be, uh, yep. you know, uh, you can use the same format. I don't want to use the word copied. Uh, but you you know what I mean, right? There's a difference yeah. between plagiarizing and using someone's yes. format that you think is is a good format and would work mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. All awesome. right, well, this was awesome. So uh, the, the three ways to think about doing live videos. Number one was on the fly, on yes. the fly. The number two was in the moment, and mm -hmm. number three was prepped and ready. And on that note, that wraps the show. That's really, really great. Three great points uh, for people to think about uh, doing live videos. I think it's going to be super helpful for uh, business owners and entrepreneurs and professionals out there. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So uh, if someone is watching this show and they're saying, you know what, Chloe is, uh, look, I, Chloe, I want to call you Chloe. This is in That's French. Okay. You I can't can say it. Chloe. No one else is allowed to repeat no, it. No, no, only Antoine. <laughs> All right. If you want to contact Chloe and you say, you know, look, she looks really sharp and I mm -hmm. like what she does and whatnot. Um, you know, what do you do? Uh, I know you're public speakers. I said that at the beginning of the show, but um, how would someone engage you and what is a good fit for you? Sure. 
One of the things that I do right now is help people create video, both live and recorded. Uh, for instance, I'm working with a few people right now on creating really great about me videos to put on their about me page, because I think video is much more impactful than any words or images you're gonna stick on your about page. It lets people get to know you. So if you're looking to create a new about me video, let me know and you can reach me at Chloe, again, C-H-L-O-E, like yeah. Chloe, but it's Chloe. Except for Antoine, um, and it's Chloe at perceptivepresence.com. You can just shoot me an email, tell me what you're interested in. If it's live video, if you want more information about the formats we talked about, if you'd like some coaching on how to do prepped and ready better, or things to think about for in the moment, or you know, some ideas that you could implement, because I know mm -hmm. people get hung up on the content a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I'm great at talking through, okay, what do you do well? And let's figure out some things and let's make a list for you of some content you can share that your audience wants to connect with. I do believe that no matter what you do or how you do it related to video, it's all about connecting with your audience and it's a conversation, not a broadcast. So right. it, it's not a commercial. And we talked about that before the yes. show. It's not a commercial. Let's just make it that super clear. Nobody. Yes. And I mean, nobody wants to see a commercial. Yeah. However, the video marketing company is convincing you to do that they don't. They really yes. don't. They want value. They want to know you. They want authenticity. So this is really cool. And Chloe would be really great as a uh, as a coach in that to help you making sense of that. Um, so um, you know, if you have any questions for Chloe, obviously you can put them right below, and I will point it out to uh, to to Chloe, and I will uh, make sure that she uh answers um you know as quickly as she can mm -hmm. um if you enjoyed that video please like it you know this is how we know we're doing a good job and we're providing value uh and if you're on youtube please subscribe you know do it now just you know click on the subscribe don't hesitate do it now mm -hmm. um and uh, on that note Chloe, uh thank you so much for spending the time to uh, to talk with uh, with my audience and yeah. you have a wonderful oh and i'm going to see you at social media marketing world yes you uh, are i'm going to see you in a month uh in uh, the end of february early march of yep. 2018 mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be at social media marketing world so uh that's going to be really cool i'm really looking forward to that me too exciting things because you're fabulous and i can't wait to see you there <laughs> thank you all right see you soon bye bye, -bye. Thank you.